Hi everybody and welcome to another super exciting edition of Real China, coming up today. We've got an exclusive interview with director James Cameron and we'll be checking out the top five movies at the Chinese box office. Before all that, however, I'm joined by the bouncy Cajun. Hello, Cajun. Hello, bouncy. I don't appreciate that word. Because it's a lie, isn't it? Oh, anyway, uh, today, can't believe this. what's wrong with you? Nothing. Oh, OK. Smiles, professional. Let's start the so, day with insulting each other. <laughs> yeah. OK. Well, uh, today you're going to be introducing us to a film called Close to the Moon. Close to the Sun. Close to the Sun. I I'm knew I made so a mistake. I'm so glad that you're paying attention. OK. And uh, what, what is the uh, genre, or for you, type? Of movie. I know what genre means. Okay, anyway, go on then. it's a drama mm -hmm. about a French artist who travels to the very rural area of China to heal herself. Okay, so first of all, mm -hmm. what area of remote China does she travel to? Guizhou. I have mm -hmm. been to a wonderful Guizhou restaurant here in Beijing. Guizhou restaurant? And, well, they wear those funny hats that look like a crown and they jingle around. They look like Christmas tree decorations. Funny hats? Yeah, am I right? It's not funny. It's I, I actually think the costume is quite beautiful. Okay, Ethnic beautiful. Costumes. Well, I tell you, you should dress up in one. I should You'd actually. You'd ruin it though. Um, and it's about uh, what is she? A painter from France. She's a painter, and she actually given up on life, and she wants to go to the rural area of China, just end her life there. Okay, she wants to die in mm -hmm. uh, what is it? What province? Guizhou. Guizhou. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you what, I haven't got a clue uh, about this movie, so should we check out the trailer? Let's see the trailer first. Sinchi想让你看见他的时候，你就看见了。你们是我见过最善良的人，你们到了我也不会用，我死了我也不会用他来治病。J'aime tellement être ici. J'aime véritablement chacune de ces personnes. Il mieux serait que je m'en aille. Oui, peut-être que le moment de partir pour moi est arrivé. Tu vas aller où Tu vas aller à la maison Non, je ne vais pas aller. 我也不知道自己要去哪里。It's so cliched. Cliched? Yeah, I just it just seems to be like this woman and she's really sad and then she goes like to these ethnic people and then she's like, oh, you're the nicest people in the whole world. It reminds me totally of Dances with Wolves. I have to say the plot is not very novel, but the, the scenes are very beautiful. Well, you see, this is what depresses me about the film, because although the plot is so cliched and hackneyed that it was probably old about 50 years ago, right. the cinematography, the photography is just absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like the way they capture those vistas and landscapes yeah. and paddy fields. If you could combine that kind of artistry and photography with a plot that wasn't silly, I would watch it for sure. Oh, look at you. Aren't yeah. you a film critique? I am. I know what the real Taking is. Taking it seriously. Yes. Well, who's the, who's the director of this trash? Well, the director... Trash? Excuse what? me. Did that come out loud? Silly me. Okay. Well, bear in mind, I'm glad that you asked that question because the director's called Chocho and she's in her 20s still. Oh, okay. Like you and me. Well, yeah, me, but I'm not sure about you. Okay, I'm in my teens. Anyway, um, but, so uh, it's only her, I think, second or third film. Okay, well, she, like I say, she's got the cinematography sorted. It's just the plot. Mm -hmm. um, and Chocho, it's a, that's a nickname, isn't it? It's, it's, I think it's like her arty name. And what does it translate as? It literally means 
Ugly, ugly. Oh, your sister then. Oh, and, excuse uh, me? Anyway, but I have to say, when I lived in Anhui, my mm -hmm. favourite province in China, I had a, jo a dog called Cho Cho. A dog, eh? A dog. <laughs> I had a dog. I had a dog called Cho Cho. Cho Cho? Yeah, so the same name. How do you spell it? Uh, C H O U. Oh, right, it is the same yeah. name. Oh, is that how she spells it as well? Yes. Okay. And uh, this woman, you say, she's very young, but, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully she can uh, write to me sometime and I can give her one of my screenplays that has a little bit of depth to it and she can oh bring my her artistry to Well, you trained to be a, a filmmaker, didn't I you? I did. Documentary, though. Okay. And how many feature documentaries have you made thus far? None. Anyway, let's don't, don't humiliate me on I this show. Humiliate? <laughs> okay. Uh, so, language, film, it's all falling apart. Oh, shut But up. something wonderful has happened this week because for the Beijing International Film Festival, oh, yes. our colleague Anne Zhang mm -hmm. actually went along there and met one of the most famous, in fact, the biggest director on earth, didn't she? Oh, drum roll. Mr. Steven Spielberg. What? Uh, this is why we don't send you to film oh, festivals. Okay, Come well, on. one of the biggest directors on earth, James Cameron. James Cameron. Who directed, what did he direct? Avatar, Titanic. But more importantly, Aliens. And The Terminator. Oh, of course. So, shall we check out what happened when Anne came face to face with Jimmy C? Can't wait. Um, with China being such a huge market, have you considered copying Chinese actors? your future projects such as Avatar 2 or Avatar 3? Right. Well, I think it's a fair question, and I think there are two levels to it. One is, if, if we wound up doing uh, part of uh, the Avatar films here on a co-production basis, we would have to. But I think the real question is, do we want to anyway, even if we don't do a co-production, do we want to include uh, Chinese actors yes. in the movies? just because this is such a, such a big market and, and Asia in general is such a big market. And I think that that would be wise to do. I think it would be wise to do. I mean, I make movies for a global audience. Why cast it with just, just uh, you know, just uh, American, American actors? It doesn't make sense. And who do you have in mind? Oh, wow. Well, that's, that's another story. And I would, I would never give the agent an advantage by saying I wanted somebody. <laughs> Wow, isn't that amazing? Actually getting to sit down with Mr. Avatar, Mr. Terminator himself. It's very cool, Great I have stuff. to say. And if he does hire Chinese actors to be in Avatar 2, we could paint you blue and put you on there, couldn't we? I wouldn't mind being an extra. And we wouldn't need much makeup either for what? you. What? Anyway. At least I'll get to see him. Oh, that's... <laughs> we, did, we didn't see him. Um, <laughs> but uh, I've got to say, I was surprised to get uh, an interview with him, like Real China got an interview. Very cool. It was uh, wonderful, because in the past, you know, we, we've met a few celebrities, Darren Aronofsky, mm -hmm. Lou Chuan. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, I, oh, I no, met no, those no, people. no, no, no. This yep. is like tedious showing off time. Okay. Well, who have you met? Well, I... Hold on. Before, I, before we have 10 minutes of silence, let's move on this. to the next part of the show, which is top five. Top five. Rounding out the top five this week is Greek fantasy epic, Wrath of the Titans. The end of the world. What am I meant to do? It's a drop for Peng Ho Chan's rom com sequel, Love and the Buff, which slips to fourth. Nicolas Cage's latest action movie, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, somehow scrapes into third. Plus I have some personal issues I kind of like to get fixed. Roadkill. The rider's coming. In at number two is Battleship, the ocean based sci fi epic. With unknown surface contact, 8,000 yards. Is this some kind of exercise? Probably. I want to have this thing thoroughly investigated. We'll get a team in the water right away. Get me on it. Don't think that's a good idea! Got it, Chief. Get out of there, Alex. Okay. 
him. He said, we ain't alone. He said, one day we find them. Or they find us. Where's the captain? Captain is dead, sir. Who's next in charge? You are. They've created a barrier. My radar's totally down. We can't seem to penetrate it. We have three destroyers still unaccounted for, so it's conceivable we do have somebody inside. What are your orders? We're going in. Once again, conquering the box office in China is James Cameron's soppy romance, Titanic in 3D. We go full ahead! Put your backs into it! I've got everything I need right here with me. I figure life's a gift, and I don't intend on wasting it. You never know what hand you're gonna get dealt next. Titanic. It's Titanic, come it's on. Making... He is here in Beijing. He can actually hear you. <laughs> oh, OK. Well, hopefully he'll give me a call. But uh, I have to say, it's making vast amounts of money here in China. Cajun, mm -hmm. do you think it will actually make back its entire massive production budget here? Do you know what? Since he's here, I'm going to say yes. OK. Yes, you want James to... Cameron, <laughs> yes. OK, well, <laughs> you're still never going to meet him, so you don't have to PR him. You never know. Anyway, before you go over the top and turn mm -hmm. all red, shall we check out this week's Question of the Week? Let's. Question of the week. Close to the sun director Cho Cho's name means what in English? A. Kiss kiss. B. Bang bang. Or C. Ugly ugly. Email your answers to realchina2011 at gmail.com before next Tuesday. Good luck. OK, if you've been paying attention in the last part of the show, you can answer that question correctly mm -hmm. and win one night with KJ. Oh, no, not okay. that again. <laughs> we give her away every week for one night. Anyway, this weekend, apparently, you're off to see Titanic in 3D, aren't you? I am, for the very first time. Because you've seen it in 2D like 403 times, Yeah, about it? around 400 okay. times. But you can't wait to see old Leo coming out of the screen, can you? I'm not going to answer that. OK, she's turning even more red now. <laughs> anyway, before she explodes, should we say goodbye? See you next week. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.